Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Rayman 2, The Great Escape with Robberlink. Hello! Alright, where we last left off, we finished the Iron Mountains, and we came back to the Menhir Hills, and this first sanctuary, or second sanctuary, to get 100% of the looms and cages, hopefully. I, I need to great escape this level. <laughs> I did realize something, mm -hmm. though. Did it ever say a name for the final mask? Like the mask of whatever and whatever? Mm, no, just said the fourth mask, I think. Um, okay, uh, I think... I hear a cage here, and I think there is like a little path somewhere. It's kind of hidden behind something. I think maybe right here? Yeah. Oh my... I, I didn't really realize until I heard the cage swinging and editing the first time we were here. Wow, that is hidden. Yeah. Oh, these are bouncy. That is a very wonky angle to be doing that at. Okay. Whoops. Did I, did I actually transfer? Yes, I did. Okay, I wasn't sure. What Can we see where we're going? Uh, it'd be nice if we could. Whoop. Okay, that's not what I wanted. But yeah, I did realize that in order to one hundred percent this, I'd need to figure out how to effectively get the looms in the Iron Mountains where the mech is. And I was thinking if that takes a long time, if we don't get to the final level yet, maybe I could do it off screen. Okay, I'm still missing one freaking loom. But hey, more max health. I wonder if I'm at true max now. Yep, 80 out of 80. Okay, where is this? Oh, can I actually just drop down to the end of this? I think I can. Um, all right, I guess I should be on the lookout for one more loom then still, which is um, a bit tragic. Just one more frickin' loom. Not you. Yeah, I was about to say, not you. You're not yellow. Also, um, I did collect one big loom that we missed, I forgot to mention, along the path here. I'll show it as I'm talking. Uh, it was just after we went over one particular drop I had to helicopter to reach it, and uh, the first time I think I ran into the um, the checkpoint, so I couldn't go back and get it without restarting the level, and I didn't want to do that when we first mm -hmm. went through this, especially, considering how long the level was. Yeah. I wonder if maybe there's a yellow loom along the return path where there was that purple loom, I assume, or maybe the, maybe the purple loom just leads you to something else? I don't know. Probably not, but I'll check. Because what else am I gonna freaking do? I'm missing one loom. I hate when I am missing just one loom. After I have explored the level freaking one and a half times, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. Jay's, leave me alone. Not again. Was the first time not enough? Well, clearly not since we're back here. <laughs> Well, it wasn't enough for us, but them as well. <laughs> Are you also 100% completionists? Do you need to 100% complete eating Rayman? Uh, thank you. I was about to say, uh, do, you, do you feel like picking it up anytime soon? <laughs> no, I feel like cooking alive first. Yeah, relatable. Sometimes you just, you just feel like you want to be uh, nicely char charred. <laughs> Rayman's standing there watching the flamethrower slowly turn towards him and he's like, wait, let him cook. <laughs> it's like, are you sure you want this? Let me cook. <laughs> let me get cooked. This may be completely pointless. Oh well. <laughs> it would be kind of messed up to force you to do this to get one loom that you haven't even seen. 
Well, if this does turn out useless, maybe I'll just fast forward. Wee. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope, nothing. Okay, then. I need to sneeze now. I'm allergic to worthless purple loops. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, down we go again. We we in reverse. You. <laughs> 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 When something's so disgusting, you have to <laughs> say you over this panel for like a full minute. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, yeah, in this section that didn't make sense. Because somehow the, uh, the orb stays with you. Oh, yeah. Alright, come here. Oh, lord, he coming. Whoops. What? <laughs> the orb stays with you. Proceeds to abandon you. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, and then I'm gonna have to do the whole thing again, aren't I? This is actually a pretty long section still, now that I remember. Unless I can just skip it. But then I'm still missing a loom somewhere. And I don't know frickin' where. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any looms here. Well, if you had gone through that door before you put the... Well, the thing is that leads to a specific place that has two exits to it, if you know what I mean. Ah. Like, it has the one that I'm gonna exit through, but then there's one below it. And I assume I would just waste a ton of time by doing that. Okay. In that case... Huh. Yeah, I feel like maybe I should actually just make a a cut in the episode if this is just going to be the rest of the level and no loom. Does that sound good to you? Sure. I mean, I'm probably not going to spot it. <laughs> I might, but well, if we probably do, not. Yeah, if we do come across it, I can just record that little bit without restarting the mic audio, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, we will uh, make a cut here. Yeah, see how there's another hole here? Okay. Yeah, and we will uh, be back whenever, probably after we finish this level again. All right, so we'll see you in a moment. All right, we're back. So this is at the very end of the level, right after we ride the head of Umber, the Guardian. And apparently I missed the loom right frickin' here. Which is yeah. weird because it's only on one side, and I don't think... I don't think I collected one on that side, so it's asymmetrical, which is weird. Though but it did have a red loom that was probably supposed to guide you there. Yeah. Oh well. At least we did find it, and that's good. I'm thankful for that. Ay. But now it's time to uh, kill my thumbs once more. They just keep coming back. I need to keep beating them back down so they stop coming back. <laughs> Alrighty. So I imagine what we'll probably do is, if the last level is as long as I expect it to be, we'll probably just make some progress that I'll need to redo, but then between sessions I can go back and try to get the last looms in the Iron Mountains. However you manage to do that. Yeah, by trying to lead that mech as if it's a bull. Assuming that's even what you're meant to do. It seemed like it. I probably just need to be really fast about it and not get caught somehow. Hmm. Alrighty. There's that bonus level complete. Hello, loser. Come to stare at me, the winner. Bask in my glory. <laughs> the glory that is not yours. Alright. Come on, show the thing. There we go. <sighs> okay. 
Yeah, that is weird. See? Only this level has the different background. Oh. And I thought that was just going to be a thing that stayed until, like, the next sanctuary, and then it might change again, but then no, it was just that level. So I wonder if it's actually a bug. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Whoops, not that way. Hi. So, yeah, I also did realize the two races, they're called the Walk of Life and the Walk of Power. So I guess they are, I think you might have mentioned, they're just a separate way of getting either your health restored or the power fists without doing a bonus level. Hmm. Is what I'm guessing. All right, the prison ship. Almost a hundred frickin' looms in just this one level alone. But no cages. We've gotten all of those. Razorbeard receives a special guest. Hey, I'm a special guest. Raven poisoning your life? I've got the antidote. Equipped with the latest power booster, nothing can stop it. Trust me, bro. <laughs> you can control it yourself or put it in self-pilot. It's amazing. It's good. It's got like six out of five reviews on <laughs> Yelp. It can kill, crush, destroy, torture, pull ears, cook. <laughs> its legs are programmed to squash fleeing victims. In short, it does everything, except the dishes. Don't forget the name of this marvel. The Grolgoth. Mm. Mm. Decide quickly, I have other clients waiting. With this, I could destroy Rayman. Crush him. Smash him. I'll take it. You won't regret it. Here's your money. It's all here. Count it if you like. Oh, I trust you. Well, what other clients? Like, I'm... who else is in the market for a killer robot? <laughs> Don't know. Oh, joy. It starts out with one of these sections, which is more annoying to redo, but whatever. I guess if I know I'm going to have to redo this, I don't need to bother getting them all yet. Hmm. Oop. But just for visual flair, I'll try to get most of them. Yeah. Whoops. So I figured, unless you really struggle with good slidiness, apparently. I think it's because I'm trying to slow down that might be making it worse in this case. Also, why is there just a portal there? I think that's the exit to go back. Huh. So if I wanted to leave and say, nope, <laughs> I'd probably just jump into it. Ah. Is there supposed to be lava running through your own pirate ship now that I think about it? That doesn't seem very safe. I think you'd burn down your own ship pretty Yeah, quickly. and your own walls are blowing up. Like, what? It's like, easier. Initiate self-destruct. That could be it, actually. But why is there lava in your self-destruct mechanism? Whoa! This is actually kind of hard on its own without trying to get the looms. Do they want to make this ship, yeah, powered with geothermal energy, <laughs> even though it's an airship? Take the geothermal source with you. It'll work, trust me, bro. Whoa, that's looking a little more dangerous than I'd like. Whoops. I overcorrected. Jeez. Oh, and you know how I said I remember there being a particularly painful part in the final level? Yeah. This isn't it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> It will get worse, I assume. Jeez. It's really murdering me. Can't wait to redo this next session. Oh, yeah. Joy. Ah, uh, well. I can do it. And then if I can do it once, I can do it twice. Suffering. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure. Should I be speeding up or slowing down? Remember. You can always revisit your suffering. Ouch. I did not jump far enough. Seems like you jumped a bit too early. Probably. I was like, ah, 
Lava, jump. Oh no, I'm landing face first into it and jeez. Sometimes it feels like I cannot frickin' turn at all. Alright. So who, like... Who still, like, super slides soap all over the entire deck? It's like, quick, <laughs> there's lava spills, we need to clean it up. With soap. <laughs> Like, this doesn't even seem that... Like, that part pretty much goes up. Why are you... Why is this a slide section? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so apparently at that point where I first failed to jump far enough, I really need to be slowing down and turning left, I guess. Because that was, um... Yeah, even after a successful jump, it's just, nope, you're off course. I'm going to slow down a bit if I can. Yikes. Maybe I'm jumping too often. I feel like jumping, in a lot of games, jumping can at least feel like it helps, but I guess in this case I might just be sabotaging myself. It's worth a shot, I guess? Stop frickin' jumping when there's no lava, I guess. That's a little annoying. It goes like over a little hill and that makes it so you can't see what's coming up ahead. All right, so here, I need to be going, whoa. Not that way. Yeah, it's, it's because I pulled the control stick towards myself to slow down. And if you're just not perfect, it'll... It turns you? Yeah. Oh, that's... Because if you think about it, you're moving the control stick very far from center. So if it's just slightly off, it'll also interpret it as turning. That... Ugh. All right, I think I got this. There we go. Wow. Well, you got it, just not the part of me lay after. <laughs> Makes me think of the final story level in F-Zero GX. Just, you know, no rails. Mm. Trying to do tight turns. <laughs> Excellent combination, am I right? Oh yeah. A recipe for suffering, if there ever was one. All right, so left. Then no way to stop, and nothing oh, to keep you from falling off. I think it kind of happened again. As I landed right after the lava jump, I was pulling towards myself to slow down, and it interpreted it as turning left for a second. All right, well, I guess I don't really need to slow down here-ish. I'm just thinking of those YouTube shorts that don't actually have anything to show. It's just someone talking about something. And they just have, like, some game going on in the background. Oh. Th th this feels like it'd be it. Uh, no, I don't think this would be as entertaining or, you know, attention-grabbing because I keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Usually it's someone, like, doing perfect surfing in a physics engine or something. Uh, <laughs> Here's just like, wait a minute, is that guy doing it whoop. again? again? <laughs> Raymond doesn't want to deal <laughs> with this anymore. Yeah, that's it's just because I'm pulling the control stick towards myself. Oh, wait. I can save the looms I've gotten. Yay. Normally, if I have to redo the level, I have to get all the looms back again. I'll take it. <laughs> save those looms. <laughs> That's actually an exploit I didn't expect to exist. But I'll take it. We'll take whatever we can. All right, trying again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm not going to be able to skip this, am I? Oh, no. All right, see you in a moment. <laughs> All right, we're back. Yeah, see, I... Am I just not going to be allowed to slow down without veering? Because that's potentially a big problem. Oop. Ow. I don't suppose there's anti-veering controls in the settings to make it less sensitive <laughs> to that. Unless I can use the control pad. No, that's not... If it's not turning me with the control pad, it's not going to slow me down either. Whoops. Eh... 
of all the things about the old control, the old controls that I disliked, I didn't remember this being such a potential problem. Yeah. Not being able to slow down very easily. So I'm just going to try and not do so, if possible. I can't remember, and I can't really see because your hand's covering it. Does the N64 controller have, like, a... Uh... Like, is it a circular thing that the stick rests in? Uh, or... Kind of. It has little... Does it have, like... Oh, there's more. Ouch. It has, like, little... I don't know. It's not, like, a full circle thing. It has... It's kind of like a polygon, you know? Okay. So it can rest at certain points. Because I'm pretty sure the GameCube controller had that. I was wondering if this did. Yeah, but despite that, it's still being a little bit of an issue. Oh, that sucks. I don't know if it's just not properly resting in the lower divot. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, from what I can see, the grooves aren't as sharp as yeah on the GameCube anyway. And if it's not like perfectly centered while I'm pulling down. Yeah, I was thinking like, you know, if it has those like divots or whatever. Yeah, that should hold it in place, but. I think this analog stick is a little too analog, <laughs> a little too precise. Wow, how would I possibly get that in one go? Whoa, boy. Uh, Hit the switch. Hit the switch. I'm dead. Me, I'm big dead. Oh, you don't have to hit that switch anymore. Yeah, I noticed that the last time I died. Hopefully that will hold true for this next switch then. <clears throat> oh, my voice. It's going. Got it. Yay! <laughs> Probably gotten like a third of the looms this level. Huh. Yeah, I guess they're just a lot just sprinkled across this section then. Alrighty. Finally making a bit of progress. Got it. Got it. Okay, hit it. Ah, so that's what it does. Oh, geez. Uh, hit that. Yeah, thank you. Any red looms? Nope. Why would there be red looms? Ah, of course. Jeez. Well, hopefully all those switches will stay pressed, and I'll have a very easy time getting there. <laughs> hopefully. Do you have to re do the first part if you die? Based on what, you know, what's been happening every time I died, I actually doubt it. Also, that would be pretty cruel. Yeah. So I'm hoping no. Yeah, that's pressed. But dang, I cannot turn. Like, at all. I wonder if you... It will reset and you do have to press them again if you actually die. Eh, that won't be too terrible, because I'll have more health than I started with in this section, at least. True. Also, I won't need to worry about looms! Ow. I'm freaking dying over here. Time to do it again! It's like, darn it, the pirates have caught on to what actually kills Rayman. Speed sections. It's not all the explosions and things going on, no. It's just forcing Rayman to go fast. <laughs> we'll make him reach his demise. Dang it, I'm not Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't do this. My body was not made for this. Why am I not freaking turning? Jeez. Also, you have over half the looms now. Ah, uh, nice. All right. Like, is, is this all really just... The entire speed section. I doubt it, unless the thing that I remember is actually a separate level. Are you serious? Oh, okay, those, those are walls. I, I thought it was just... <laughs> like... I thought you could just fall off if you kept going like that. Yeah. That would have like, been pretty freaking terrible if that was the case. Like, how are you supposed to get those looms? Ah! <laughs> what 
the heck is this? Ah, uh, yes. This is the uh, control room in the Death Star for the prison area. <laughs> Feels like it's lagging a bit. <laughs> a bit. Too many things to load in. Hey, at least I'm not forced to be speeding around everywhere. It's like, yeah, now we can do the real mission. I will die Nearly for Nearly dead. I will die for my looms. Or not. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, Big I'm loom. <laughs> I'm certainly dead. Huh. I wonder, I wonder if it's going to give me something that I can fly with, like a keg. Maybe I need to use the keg to get to it? Oh, wait. Uh, maybe if you go... Keep going forward. And then left. I mean, like... Oh. Yeah, here. Maybe you can jump down there. Yeah, maybe I can climb and on it. And then... Jump it. And... Yes, you can. Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, concerning hitbox size, though, I'm not sure. Like, they're visually pretty freaking big spikes. I feel like they could still clip my toes at any moment. They probably should, but, like, they I don't. guess not. <laughs> they don't, so who cares? Live on the edge, Rayman. Okay. Whoops. Whoa. Not that close. <laughs> Maybe not... That close to the edge, Rayman. Huh. I know I saw another loom. Uh, where? It was like a little. Okay, whoa! Okay, then. I was gonna say, like, probably if you could go first person, it'd help, but. Oh, jeez, you're a tanky one. Yeah. Stop landing on me, please. Let me charge up. Dang it. Okay, you're just being a butthole right now. Stop it. Stop it. Do I just need to keep moving? Is that the thing? There we go. <laughs> Eat this. I will hit you one way or another. Whoops. Unless Rayman does that. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. I wonder if I'm supposed to go get this to kill him. Can you come here? Hopefully you can't. Oh, you can. At least I can hurt him a little more now. Do you even jump down? You just... Okay. This works. Cheese him. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> anyway... <laughs> I guess that one was yay worthy. Oof. Yeah, there. That was the one I was talking about. Wait. Uh, the loom. Was there a loom? Yeah. If, like, directly above you? The one that I picked up, or no? No. I don't think so. Okay, not from... Go, like, in front of that big wheel-looking thing. Then up a bit more. Oh. Yeah. Right you are, I suppose. I've been seeing it, like, constantly, like, just out of the corner or whatever. <laughs> it's like, when is he gonna get that frickin' loom? Why is he not getting it? Me being a stupid. There you go. All right. Well, I think it is about time to end the episode, so perhaps we should end it here, and I'll leave it here so there's not way too much progress to remake it's already going to be painful enough i'm sure mm. but yeah we'll end it here and we will continue this struggle next time and i might get the uh the other looms if i can off screen so yep we'll end it here and we'll see you guys next time so dear viewers goodbye for now goodbye ow